Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to Router 2 Brief Saltwater Aquarium Care. Hey, don't forget to check out uh, our Facebook group in the video description. And all the gear I use is also in the video description and the top comment. So if there's something you're interested in, you can always check it out on Amazon, read the reviews, and buy it. Okay, so today's going to be a big day. There's not much rock. There hasn't been rock in there for a while. I kind of like it bare, but a few people have complained and said, your rockscape looks like garbage. Well, that's because it's not a rockscape. I got a couple new corals, really small frags, and I'll show you those. Um, I quarantined new fish for six weeks in a quarantine tank with copper, and I quarantine all inverts and new coral in a separate quarantine tank without copper, because copper kills corals and inverts right away. There's some bubbles in here, as you can see. I let the water run a little low because I'm going to do a water change. I'm going to remove 20 gallons of water and replace it with 15 gallons of water, allowing for 5 gallons for water displacement when I put the new rock in. Protein Skimmer has been doing a really great job. As always, this is the eShops S200, pulling stuff out of the water. Got the rotter tube with a piece of foam in there. The water flows through it. In here, I've got a phosphate reactor. Keeps the phosphates out of the water. Usually the water is right beneath that other PVC pipe. Now that PVC pipe is connecting both of the sumps. This is an eShops sump. I drilled a hole through it. This, it does nothing. That was just a connector. To hang a light when I was trying to grow Chieto in here for a refugium. Decided against it. I've got Miracle Mud at the bottom. Let me take you to the area where I'm making the water. I want to show you something. This is my RODI unit. You've got your water pressure right where it should be. This thing makes 150 gallons per day. It's great. Filters were changed. Uh, they look great. They were changed like two months ago. You want to change all your filters. This is to remove the solids. This is carbon. And this is carbon again. Uh, it looks good. I'll ch change all of these filters out when this turns yellow. Now, the one thing I am going to change out, this is the deionization. deionization so that's where you get the RODI unit. This is the last stage. So as your water comes in from your house, you never want to use water directly in your tank from your faucet. Even though our water is awesome here where we live, there's still some metals in it, metals, and you want to get that stuff out. You want the purest water possible. So remove solids, carbon, gets rid of chemicals, and final stage carbon. Uh, one micron universal carbon block there and then the water comes out of here into the di unit and this is the di resin and it removes the phosphates from the water as you can see it's got the brownish tinge on it it was all black and now it's got the brownish tinge how do you know when to change this out well i've got a tds meter on top and when you it's cool because when you turn it in and then you turn it on it shows how much is coming in from your house and it's eight you want it to be zero but the important part is what's going out which is what's going out of this unit into here so coming in after being filtered coming in is eight What's coming out of this? Oh, it's one. Now that's not bad, but it's got to be zero. Because if not, there's some phosphates getting in this water here that we're mixing with salt. This is what's going into the tank. Okay? You don't want it to be one. It can't be higher than zero. So I'll be placing an order today uh, Bulk Reef Supply, they actually sell the resin that you can pour in and pack yourself. But for like $5 more, they actually just send you the resin in a tube. You just swap out the tube. That's what I'm going to do. So this has got to be changed. It was zero last week. 
or two weeks ago, and I didn't check it last week. I'm in the basement. It's dark. This is my 20 gallon quarantine tank. Another Phoenix light. I just want to show, I mean, let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to put the rock in here today. The corals are all closed up because it's been dark. This is a new coral. I got another frog spawn coral with three heads. And then this is another one. It's a zoanthid. So that's closed up too. That That's kind of pretty. It's like dark rose with pink center. I know it looks like garbage now. The lights just came on. Um, all these guys are closed up. Here's my zoanthid colony. I got it as a little frag. It was like small. Now it's grown on all the rocks and everything. I like coral, but I like the star polyps and a little bit of zoanthids just to give it color. Just enough coral to give the tank movement. I'm not a big um, coral person because it's expensive. It's just enough to give the, the tank some color and movement. All right, so this protein skimmer, what's going to happen is the bubbles get sucked in through a motor and they get bubbled up and churned. Look at all those bubbles. Then the bubbles break. The, set, the idea is, and it works very well, is that the sediment and fish waste and uneaten food and microbes, microbes that are caught in the water column, they gather on all these millions of bubbles and then they rise up and then they break. Slowly this cup will fill, fill up with solid and it's gonna look like dark tea or coffee. And then you just take this top cone off as I just did, and you're gonna dump it out. You wanna have a nice thick foam, and when those bubbles pop, it's gonna leave the solids behind in the cup. And it's over the, you know, some people have it skim higher, and it em fills up the cup like they're emptying it daily. I empty mine every three or four days. I just don't wanna deal with it daily. So I had the protein skimmer off and I just wanted to see what the nitrates would turn into after a week of no skimming and they went from like 15 to 40. All right, just a little test. Cause I have bigger fish and they go to the bathroom a lot. More than these little guys. Hi guys. On the glass, I've got a little bit of algae. Not bad, I'll scrape that off and uh, when I replaced the resin in the RDI unit that I just showed you, I'll have even less algae on the glass because the water will be pure. Algae feeds on phosphates. I replaced the foam in the rotter tube. I've got foam in the overflows. I'll replace that. I've got my marine LED lights by Phoenix, which I absolutely love. I highly recommend them. They're up higher so I can take the screen mesh off and do water changes. Normally it just lays right against the tank and it makes the tank look awesome. We reached 10,000 subscribers finally. Mr. Billy Pipes sent me a text message with a picture of 10,000 subscribers. So thanks, Billy. Hope you're doing well and uh, Speaking of that, Rad, if you're watching, I don't have your number anymore, so send me a text message. My contacts got all jacked up. In fact, when Billy sent me a message, I'm like, who is this? He's like, it's Billy Pipes. I'm like, sorry, dude. My contacts list got jacked up in my phone. So I know the tank doesn't look too pretty right now. Pretty right now. But my channel is all about um, vlogging, and it, it helps me to know what I did on what dates. This is mainly for me and people like to follow it. So I like to experiment and I like to do things with not as much money. As you can see, I don't have that much invested and I don't dose. I let mother nature take care of pretty much everything and that's cheaper and it's more beneficial. That's why when starting an aquarium, I use shrimp to cycle the tank, which is starting the ammonia cycle. You never want to put fish, brand new fish in a brand new tank right away because they'll die. The tank has to get established first with beneficial bacteria. It takes about a month. So I put shrimp, a few pieces of shrimp in there on day one with a new tank. And then I monitor the ammonia level and I do it with this. 
the Seachem ammonia badge and it goes by color so you don't have to use test kits and get all frustrated. You can just use this and yellow means safe, green is alert, blue is alarm, and dark blue is toxic. So look, even with like barely any rock, there's no ammonia in here and the fish are fine. So people who are like, oh, you need X amount of rock in your tank for so many gallons. No, not true. Because with all the fish that I have, especially tangs, look how little rock I have. And everyone's totally healthy and fine. You don't need a ton of rock. I'd rather have the swim space for the fish. So that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. Any questions or comments, let me know. I respond to everybody. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, guys. Don't forget to click the link in the corner. Bye. Leia. Bye. Hi, baby. Look at this little beast. Leia. Hey, sweetie. Okay, let her go now. She wants to play. <laughs>